As Colorado prepares to reflect on 25 years since the Columbine school shooting, remembering those lost decades ago, there is a sickening rise in indecency toward the families of mass shooting victims and survivors. In Colorado and across the country, we are seeing ghoulish mockery of victims' families from extremists who are increasingly mainstream in conservative politics and the gun rights movement. As we have said here previously, this is not about gun policy or how you feel about firearms. This is an issue of human decency, and it's the kind of degeneracy that would have been universally condemned after the Columbine school shooting 25 years ago, but is celebrated by some now. It's a talk show host claiming the Sandy Hook shooting was a hoax, and instead of becoming a pariah, Alex Jones became an ally of an American president. It's a conspiracy theorist harassing teenage survivors of a school shooting, then leveraging that into a successful run for Congress where Marjorie Taylor Greene is one of the most powerful Republicans in the House. This month here in Colorado, the gun rights group Rocky Mountain Gun Owners taunted Tom Sullivan, suggesting that the man who lost his child to a mass murder and is now a member of the state legislature was about to fly off in a homicidal rage. And this week, the week of remembrances for the Columbine school shooting, when Tom Mauser will share stories of his son Daniel. Mauser was told by a prominent gun rights activist in Colorado, Alicia Garcia, that he needs to stop exploiting the death of his son. Her social media post ordered him to heal yourself of your demons. Grief turned into advocacy is not demonic. But what term should we use for the people who taunt and mock parents who have gone through the worst loss imaginable? The people who know that that kind of cruelty can now help propel them to fame and power in America. 25 years after Columbine.